Good morning, actually. <laughs> Anywho, guys, it's it's not morning, all right? Let me um let me set my timer because my Pisces video just went 19 minutes. Um trying to keep them brief. Um it's not morning, it's night. So somebody's watching this in the morning. So good morning. <laughs> good morning to whomever that is. All right, it's going to be Scorpio, first half of March. First half of March. Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio. That's way too many. But I'm not going to lie to you, Pisces just had the same exact two cards and I didn't, I when I put them in, I, I shuffle, I, you know, you know me guys, I go like this, I know I did. So we're starting over. Scorpio. Oh, did it flip? Nope, it wanted to. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. First half of March, please. Friendship. So you got a pretty important friendship going on. Pretty dang important. My little scorps. Pisces had that too. Okay. Let's see if I can get you one more. This friendship is this usually more. It's usually like a lover. Okay. Um it, it could not be but it'd be like a bestie or like super duper important Scorpio place health it's kind of like what I was saying to Pisces are you are you drinking enough water are you eating too much you know are you snacking too much are you eating your vegetables are you getting your vitamin C are you taking care of yourself <clears throat> anything else for Scorpio balance <clears throat> so that has to do with you know no not judging but it's really judging yourself so maybe you're overweight and you're like will this person be okay with the weight I've gained or the weight I've lost it, it really just depends you know who it is but it's it's becoming harmony it's becoming one with who you are and, and not judging more or less you <clears throat> but it, it could be someone else so Scorpio so you've been waiting for someone or you've been waiting a long time for the right one so this is obviously divinely orchestrated because that's like the same thing with the divine intervention, divine timing. So it's, it's kind of a big deal, my little scorps. One too many. So somebody's at a distance. Somebody's at a distance. Travel needs to take place. <clears throat> Maybe right now you're afraid to travel. With, you know, the coronavirus, all this other stuff, you never know. Could be something like that. <clears throat> Ooh, someone's not talking. Someone is not talking. So you have a lot of chemistry with someone, that is for sure. Maybe it's, especially with balance. It, it's kind of funny that... It played out like this in Pisces too. Like it wasn't a coincidence that that one with that, that one with that, that one with that. And and I can see it now with this too. So maybe that's just the way they're, they're lining it up for you guys right now, you know. Because um, this could be paranoia about travel. But I think it's more or less your health, okay. <clears throat> that's kind of like an obvious for some. But with balance, with chemistry, you know, what if someone, there's way more attraction than there is anything else? You know, somebody might be like, oh man, like, is that healthy? <laughs> you know what I mean? So it really just depends. So Scorpio, first half of March, please, 2020. Three of Pence, so it looks like there's some type of contract 
whether it's work or love, it's teamwork, compromise. Let's get together, yeah, yeah, yeah. What else, Scorpio? That came out like that with Pisces too. This is, I'm not going to say it's strange that they're coming out like this because I, but you know how I put stuff back together. So like, this is not a coincidence. I don't know if you're dealing with a Pisces or what, but going within, finding the balance. Making something right. I think as long as you follow your soul here, it looks good. Seem to be stressed out about something, sleepless nights. said someone could be worried about rejection and I don't know where that came from because I don't see anything like that could have a little bit of lack of confidence going on you could be getting a new job that's way too many Scorpio oh Scorpio So you definitely want to go in a new direction, whatever this is regarding. Stressing you out. So you definitely need to make a decision. Be a new job offer. I know I already said that, but it's strong right there. Tell me about the three of pens. <clears throat> Eight of Wands, you're gonna get a message. Some type of communication, travel. Got three strong travel cards on the board. Travel, travel, travel. Regarding work, regarding some type of contract. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Virgo. Got the devil. If that's a work contact, the devil is a sensational work contact. Except I, I just don't think it is in this case. I, this is this is karmic, but it's it's not good. I was just saying to Pisces, and that goes for every zodiac. When you go within, when the hermit comes out, you know you deserve more. You're worth more. You're thinking about it retrospect, going within, meditating. Life will never be the same. Why? Because you're using your higher self. You know something's not right or wasn't right. Or it was and you, you didn't sacrifice or you sabotaged. It really just depends. This could be an awful marriage. I don't quite see it like that, but it could be an awful marriage and you guys want to see a counselor, but... And you're separated right now and it's causing stress, but... You know, I don't see it like that, but for some, absolutely. But to me, there's there's something toxic. I mean, it could be attraction. It could just be fear. Let's just nip that in the butt right now. Tell me about the devil. Too many, but yeah, then I saw the moon. You have the star, so you could be dealing with an Aquarius. What, babe? 
All right, I love you. So it was reversed. So I feel like you have lack of hope, but there had to have been a third party or something awful, or you feel defeated. The Five of Swords is my narcissism card, somebody playing victim, right? So not, not great. You definitely, you definitely were not happy in a situation. So that's, that's not good. Okay. That's not a, a good devil. It's not a contact. <laughs> so there's, there's something toxic and right now you're like, you're figuring it out. So tell me about the hermit. There's some type of codependency, addiction, unhealthy attraction. There's something in with the Virgo, you have the 10 of coin and the queen of coin. So I don't know if it's a household situation or if this is somebody that has nothing to do with your household. This is usually a family card. Okay, so you're going within. You're thinking about the queen of coin. Maybe starting a family life. Do I want to, to be a mom? Do I want to be a dad? Do I want to get married? Do I want this? Do I want to make this offer? Because there's something here. Because you want to go in a new direction. So it's like you want to offer this energy something. I can see it. And the hermit's under there. So it's the hermit that wants to offer to the feminine. Whatever that's for God and work, love, and stressing the masculine out. Tell me about the seven. Uh, I mean the, the nine. So you're going to get that mental clarity. Okay. So if you're stressed out right now, within the first half of March... That's going to relieve a lot of pressure because <clears throat> it looks like it looks like you're going towards someone. Tell me about the Princess of Pence, some type of offer. <clears throat> or this is just someone you're thinking of, <clears throat> which is probably this person too. Or this is a wife and this is someone else. Because it's the masculine that wants to offer something, which is the hermit. So, <clears throat> you're either in a karmic situation now, which you ask me, in a karmic situation that you kind of need to get out of. <clears throat> I think you're fully aware of that. And you got the moon. So, you're still unknown about this energy. Or there's just something unknown still. Let's move with the two wands. It just picks up on a whole nother story. And it's almost like you're going to get communication, right? I think you're looking at someone like, no way, like, I'm just going to continue doing what I'm doing, taking care, you know, taking care of my family. But there's still something unknown. And with the Six of Swords being reversed with the Two of Wands, like, this isn't over. Whatever the situation ship is, it's not over. Something might be over, but nah, nothing's over. Even if you have two different energies here, two different feminines, there's still something that's not over. I think this might be the same energy karmically you you you're going towards someone. Someone means a whole lot to you. It's like you're fully aware of it. To me, you're messaging the Queen of Coin or the Page of Coin, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. You definitely want a new start. You want to give someone clarity. But then, you know, the Ace of Coin. I mean, not the Ace of Coin. Hold on. I mean, you're definitely going to bring clarity to this Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And then it's like she needs to choose a direction. There was a massive karmic lesson here. 
especially again, Six of Swords and Justice. But here's the nice thing, the lesson's been learnt. There's a new opportunity. Tell me about the Six of Swords. King of Coin, Ten of Swords. So yeah, this is someone that you feel like already stabbed you in the back, vice versa. So you obviously must know this person. Or are you just thinking, oh my god, this happened last time with this particular scenario. Am I going to get screwed again? It's it's like that. But again, the world's reversed. So the, it, this isn't done. Somebody's going to reach out to a feminine. This just the way it's coming in, whether it's same sex or not. You know, the hermit keeps coming in masculine with the knight of coin, king of coin, queen of coin, page of coin. It's like whatever propensity is going on right now, you both you both can ground a situation. You're both coming in as earth. It's just whatever you thought may have been done is not done. Whatever that's forgotten, there's still something unknown. But you've already learned a lesson. You know what I mean? You got a court couple here. But I knew that was a given anyway. It's, it's a given. You know what I mean? So whatever this is, is, is coming back into the picture. It's, it's not over. You're gonna, it, there's communication. I don't know where it's going to go or what you're going to do, per se. Right? Because it's unknown. But the communication's coming in. Teamwork, compromise is required. Okay? So I'll leave it at that. Let me get your best advice. Cut it at trust and participate. Whoa. Best advice. Scorpio. First half of March 2020. It's, it's kind of like it's, it's in the source's hands. It's like, <laughs> don't, I mean, <clears throat> there's definitely something spiritual here. Source has this. I did see judgment. Okay. It's just seeing if I can get anything else, you know. Looks like someone walks away, you walked away from them, vice versa. It, it's something. You're about to get the truth, the clarity.
tell me about the Eight of Cups. It looks like <clears throat> someone's either walking towards the Queen of Wands, walking away from the Queen of Wands. I think more is about to fight for the Queen of Wands. Yeah, reconciliation. You're going to get a message. It's destined, destined, and now you got the King of, of Wands. So it's like you keep coming, no matter what zodiac you are, you keep coming in as, as court couples. So you don't have to be Earth, right? You could be fire. It doesn't matter. There's a reconciliation. This is it's it's destined. It, I mean, it's it's a given. I was I was trying to get a little more, but it, it's it's like it keeps pulling me back to the moon. Okay, so just just know if if this kind of sounds what you're going through. It's it's a given. <clears throat> And it's it's weird that I'm saying it like that. It's almost like you you know what it is. That's a given. <clears throat> Even though you're you're unknown, that's what I'm saying. Like it's bizarre. This is a connection like no other. It's like I'm still trying to figure something out, but it's it's like I shouldn't even bother with the moon being here. You gotta be shitting me. Those are the same freaking two cards that came out with justice. And I was like, I told myself, I just want one. I put them back in. And the same two freaking cards just came out again. So, <laughs> it looks to me you're dealing with a Libra energy. Somebody who just wants to balance out the scales. Somebody who just wants to make something right. But this is somebody who stands real strong in their morals, their beliefs. This is also a card of blocking both of them. So I don't know if a Libra blocked you or if you're afraid a Libra is going to block you. I think you're just afraid. That's why the devil was there. I almost say good luck. It reminds me of the card where it's like they want to ding you off your, your head with a cup. But this is a given. It, something's going to come together. Okay. So I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry. I wouldn't stress out. You know what I mean? Cause that's, that's what you're doing. You're thinking of the negative. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. And you're also dealing, you know, with my scorps right now coming in as a Libra. I mean, this is you just standing in your morals, not taking no shit. Just resting. I mean, you're definitely going to give it thought because this comes after the message. Okay. So we're still back to the same conclusion. It's a given. I love you guys. Have a good one. Bye.